Bug blink bug bounty programs. We all know them. We all love them. But we want more. I know you guys want more as well. So let's get you right started into how to get into those private invites. The first thing I want to tell you guys is that you could probably already know what a private invite is, but for in just in case you don't, uh, I'm going to explain it anyway. Bug bounty platforms like Integrity, like HackerOne, like BugCrowd, those are a few major ones, of course there are a lot more. They have what we know as public programs, which are accessible to anybody. Anybody can try to hack on one of those programs. But they also have a lot of private programs. And I'm going to tell you guys what's really important in getting into those private programs, because there is a lot of factors that go into them, of course. But you have a few major ones that we can elaborate on. The first thing I want to tell you guys is that you need to report valid bugs. This may seem obvious, but let's get a, bit, a little bit deeper into that. Because what does valid mean? Of course you can report a valid bug if it's not really a critical bug, for example. If, it's, if you only report low-level bugs or bugs that won't be fixed, bugs that are not applicable, that's going to matter because if your bugs get marked as invalid, you're going to have a less of less per, uh, lesser percentage of valid versus invalid bugs. That's one of the major factors these programs look at, is how many of your bugs were valid versus how many of your bugs were invalid. They don't want people spamming the companies that have the private programs with all of these invalid bugs, so they'll look at your valid versus invalid bug count. Now, something that matters as well is have you reported lately? This is one of the things that BookRoute warns us for. They say, have you reported in the last 90 days? Because it's really important, of course, that you're active. You're not going to get invited if you don't do anything. That, that seems logical, but of course, it's really important that you're active on these programs. Now, BookRoute also mentions that they have an impact, uh, an impact score that matters. So an average submission priority score between 1.0 and 3.99 in the last 90 days is important for them. I don't know if other programs handle this metric, but it's, it seems like a logical one. So uh, it also seems logical for other programs. Now they also tell you, of course, that you need a specific skill set sometimes. What Buckrout will do is they will for example, target web application hackers with invites for private programs to web applications. And they'll target network hackers with uh, invites to network applications, of course. So that's one of the things you can potentially grow in. If you develop one specific skill and you report a lot in that skill, you might be get better uh, chances of getting an invitation to a private program for that specific skill. And of course, it really matters that they trust you. You need to be verified as a user, you need to be a little bit known, you need to have proper performance stats, and it's really simple. Um, you report your bugs, you have a track record, so what really matters is that you report good bugs, that you report valid bugs, and the invitations will come out of themselves. Believe me, guys, you just need to report proper valid bugs. That's what matters. Of course, it also matters that they have proper impact and that they are qualitative enough that you don't just report any junk that you find on the internet, that you actually go through the effort of finding a proof of concept, executing that proof of concept, and then reporting on that. Because in the bug bounty world, we have a saying, bug or get the fuck out. And I really appreciate that saying. Um, I should have, I should have done it a lot more in my early days. Let's keep it at that. Now in Hacker One, you can also, this is one thing I wanted to tell you guys, is you can do some settings for your invitation preferences. Some hackers don't like specific programs or don't want to be invited to private programs. On Hacker One, it's possible to stop those uh, invites. I don't know if other platforms have this as well, but Hacker One also gives you a basic idea of how the invitations work. So that's what I wanted to tell you guys about how to get invited to a private program. I hope you enjoyed and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye.